and um, the way, the best way to describe these is garbage hackle wings. And oh, so this isn't your typical. <laughs> this isn't. Uh, now, what was that little thing you just did? Oh, no. <laughs> there's, there's a tip for you. Oh yeah. Well, okay. So this bobbin is wanting to stick. Doesn't the thread doesn't want to turn? Okay. Now it will. So what you do is. God gave you a nose and he puts oil on it so yeah. you can fix your bobbin gotcha. like that. So instead of bending instead of bending out the Well you don't you gotta bend them a certain amount. They come from the factory like that. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta open them up a little bit. And then you gotta grease them up a little bit, otherwise you get too loose. Yeah. And then what about that bobbin? What's I've seen a few of those. Why is it a little round circular? Is that just a That's a, a thing that uh, the this was made for some people in Britain. Okay. And it's called made a, for what? For some people out of the UK, yeah. Great Britain. And they wanted to be able to place their finger like this on the bobbin. Okay. You know, and yeah. they or they'd place it like this. Huh. And it was called a thumb bobbin. Huh. Well it's been around for quite a while. Yeah. And so I got a chance to to yeah. deal with it. Well one of the things that Gretchen and I are pretty well known for is the ability to tie rotating. Oh, yeah. And uh, one of the things that's always a problem in tying rotating, I'll show you here real quick is to using a bobbin holder is a device that sticks out here it allows your bobbin and thread to hang like that yeah it's called a right. it's called a thread holder uh -huh. well most people what what happens though is the bobbin the holder is clear out here and it holds like that and then you're done doing all that you do the you do the routine and you rotate things, and now it's time to do something else. And so you move the holder out of the way, and now you gotta, oh crap, I gotta crank all this back in, because it's way too long. Oh, yeah. Well, the real way to use this particular bobbin is to take the holder and move it clear out here just like you did before, but instead of clear out here like this, you move it out here but lower so that the flat of the bobbin rests on the holder so that when you drop it and it's done, it's still at working late. Hmm. And that's, that's the reason for all that. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, hmm. where was I? I was yeah, doing... you talking about the garbage wings. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. These are, in this book right here, they're wonder wings, but they're really garbage hackle wings is what uh, they are. So what would you normally use on, this is the, what style of the, this hackle? It's, it's a... You use really junky hackle to form nice, delicate okay. dry fly wings. But the, the New York, the old style, the traditional New York it would be hack, cat skills. Hackle point wings, and it, these can be used for substitute in any kind of wing that you would do cat skill. Yeah. Any of the any of the dry fly okay. type wings, these can be substituted much easier, and uh, you can use junky old stuff like breast off a pheasant, flank off of a mallard, yeah. or like you're going to see right now. I'm going to get my hackle out here because I need some new hackle. Yeah. And could you tie this without the parachute? Just do it the normal I'll do, I'll do the normal yeah, cool. the normal way, yeah. Okay. Awesome. You see what I'm using is a big old saltwater cape. Sure. Is that, are you seeing that on your screen? Yeah, like, uh, oh. no, but I got it zoomed in. I can zoom out a bit. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Anyway, yeah. but you see, I got lots of, these are great for saltwater things, but I'm going to be using them for dry flies. Let's just pull those two out right there. You wouldn't normally equate dry fly wings to that. Right, no. There, it just doesn't, no. two don't equate. You'd spend a lot more for a dry fly wing hackle. Oh, yeah, that's it. And it's really frustrating. You could take a, a pretty good looking cape and maybe you'll only get two dozen flies out of it, good wings. But with these, you just, it don't make any difference. You can take even different sized feathers and pair them up and make wings out of them. Yeah. But anyway, I'm going to get rid of the waste here. And here's what we're going to be making wings out of. In fact, that's I don't like the color in that one right there, so I'll do that and get rid of that strictly for demonstration purposes. Now, the way you're going to make the wing is you're going to pull these fibers back. That will be wing, and that will be next fly. Oh, yeah, wait, yeah. waste or next fly? Gotcha. Okay, so the formula that we use on those wings is a measurement along the stem 
and the stem section with swept back fibers should be one half to two thirds the length of the shank, no more, no less. So we're going to just make a guesstimation on that. And I think you can see that that's about um, two thirds of the length of the shank, give or take. Now, if we try to tie this on normally, like for the normal length, like you normally would, the, those fibers are going to twist over each other as you try to tighten in place. So we are going to use the strength of the stems temporarily to support everything until we get it bound to the hook. But we'll use it only, we'll bind it to the hook with only snug but not tight wraps. Using the stem to anchor it in place, snug but not tight. Now we'll pull it out to the length that we want. Now we'll stand it up, tighten it up. Now we have a choice. If this was a little bit smaller hook, we could leave this waist and turn it into a tail. And that would be a fly that we call the quick and easy. But this is a little bigger fly that I'm tying right now, so I'm going to have to switch and use some hackle fibers uh, for the tail. What's the, what's the advantage of, of doing that now? Why cut it off? So you're cutting off and now you're putting it in there. I'm putting it back oh, on because short. it was too short. Gotcha. It would have been a, a tail yep. that only stuck out about this far. That's right, yeah. You want to tail the length of the body? Or the length more. of the shank, yeah. yeah. Is it better to go longer or shorter on the tail? On a hackle fiber tail, it's better to go a little longer than the shank. Yeah. On a hair tail, it should be the length of the shank. And that's it, it's the, the stability of the product. Right. It, it takes a longer amount to, of, of hackle fibers, which are more that's delicate, right. to support a fly than it does the hair, which is a lot yes. sturdier fiber. Yeah. What about those scissors? Is it those things? Uh... Those scissors are whisk clips. Not everybody uses them. We've used them for 40 years. Yeah. And they're replaceable blades. Does it make it just easier to hold in your hand while you're tying? That's, they're, yeah. they're there all the time. We've tied so much that uh, we'll be tying along and Gretchen will say, well, it's your turn to do dinner tonight. Okay. And I'll be up there halfway through dinner and I've still got these okay. in my hand. I'm getting ready to do hamburger patties. And, oh, I better get rid That's of that. That's really You know, so yeah. <laughs> anyhow. Uh -huh. Okay, we'll do the Catskill style divided wing now instead of a parachute. And so that means we're going to divide them right now. Trim away the extra. And we'll crisscross between the wings now. And now we've got a divided wing, as you can see, and now we just go ahead and add a body and hackle based on what are you trying to do. So we're, whatever fly we're trying to tie. That's, uh, and then I'm going to need another, another dry fly hackle, <clears throat> so I'll get that out. I just had cataract surgery, so it wasn't too long ago, I couldn't see him without glasses, or you, but I could see, you know, six inches from my face perfect. Well, it all changed two weeks ago. Well, it's, get, it's tough getting used to everything being the exact opposite of what it used to be. But I'm getting there. So without my glasses, right here is magnificent. <laughs> and looking at you, I could tell there's somebody there. Yeah, I know. It, that's the way I used to, I used to be the same darn way, but uh, now it's the other way around, and I'm really loving the fact I don't have to wear glasses for most moving around and so forth. But anyway, let's. Um, putting a little bit of dubbing wax on the thread. I got too much nose grease on my bobbin. It's working, it's uh, moving too good, so I'm gonna have to slow it down a bit. It's worth it. I have a friend who's a duck hunter. So, I asked him, I asked him a few years ago, I said, so what do you do about the sports for ducks? He goes, oh, you find a bad like it. I said, hey, I won't turn it down if I have some. So you've got one in the south. Oh, that's not bad. 
Okay, here's just another, I'm not worried about colors here, I'm just demonstrating a particular process. So, my God, man, how many phones do you carry? Oh, I got two. Wow. I left my other video stuff in the car. <laughs> man, it's always good to have that second phone you hide it from the old lady. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's what they say, there's only, what is it? There's two types of people that have two phones. Uh, pimps and yeah, uh, something like that. Yep, exactly. Drug dealers and pimps. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm, don't comment. Yeah, <laughs> you're younger and bigger than I am, I'm so I'm sure not going to mess with you. I'll tell you what. <laughs> and well, that and the, I guess you could have fly tying uh, podcasters. There you go. Any, any way you can make a living. Yep, that's good. So why did you pick fly tying podcasting instead of? Electronics or something. Yeah, well, it's actually fly fishing. <coughs> okay, fly yeah. fishing, yeah. I have done a little bit of everything, not in the podcasting space, but three years ago, I was listening to podcasts, other podcasts. I was just really addicted to them. I still am. I just love listening to them. You know, it's basically a radio show on the on the internet. Exactly, yeah. And I made a goal three years ago. I said, I'm, you know what, I'm going to start a podcast, and I don't know what it's going to be about, but in two years, I'm going to start a podcast. And it just turned out that I started getting more back into fly fishing. And I was like, you know what, I'm just going to try fly fishing. And I, once I started it, I got so much momentum. And it's probably the most positive uh, feedback I've ever had in any of the online stuff I've done. It's, so I just stuck with it. So do you have a YouTube channel as well? Yeah, I, I do a little bit of everything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have a YouTube channel, but the, the podcast is, is, is the biggest thing. So you don't run that feather between the wings? I mean, you can, but it's just extra work. The, the, Say again? Uh, it's extra work I don't think needs to be done, but... That's it. Okay, yeah. well, now here's something yeah. that not always okay this is a half inch tool yeah okay and this is how you put a half inch on oh there you go you yeah can, you can use the same tool to put on a whip finish you know what a whip, what a whip finish is oh, yeah. okay and then the way you do that is that's a half inch and that's a three turn whip oh there finish. you go look at that so, that works really well for this kind of a fly but if you're yeah. doing a bead head it don't work with no, the darn no. Cool. So you don't use a, oh you do use a half pitch or a whip finish tool too. Oh yeah, I was right here and I use it all the time, but there's no need to when there's no bead or there's no, okay. nothing at the front you don't need to mess with. And you ever uh, use your hand, just your hands? Oh yeah, all the time. Yeah. I, I did that for 20 years before yeah. I figured out there was a tool for this. Yeah. <laughs> so, but anyway, I'll give this a take with you. All right. Well, if you guys were still online, I would, I would connect with you there, but it sounds like you're moving, moving off. No, we're still online. We have, that's our website, okay. and then that's how to get our books on Amazon. Okay, yeah. So uh, either or. Yeah. And I got it, and I got at least one. I got a few tips out of you on this one. So if I put to if I put together an episode from this uh, this expo, I'll, I'll send you an email, and let you know, and let you hear about it. Because I might use some of the audio I just took with the clip for you. Perfect. Yeah.